It's a story of love and patience, and at the heart of the tale lies a very English village. Because it is the people of this small Oxfordshire community who have made this film possible. And wandering around Kingston Bagpews is to walk into the film itself. Hello, stranger! Oh, look who it is! Tom Cobham, you oily little nodger! Nice to see you too, Spud. Kevin, get that man a drink! Guy Browning lives in the village and directed the film. The village financed the whole film, so um, some people donated £20, some people donated a lot more than that. But um, once we'd raised all the money, we could um, pay for a professional crew but then they came and actually stayed with the villagers, which saved us a lot of money. Music be the food of love. What's the next line? What times tea? Hmm. That may have been in Shakespeare's first draft. It's not bad, actually. Ginny Grant lives here. She donated it as a location for free for six weeks. I think it taught me a lot about the house, it taught me a lot about myself because you have to be quite patient if you've got lots of people. Knowing most of the people who are here makes a tremendous difference because you can go and say to them, you know, are you going to be going in half an hour or are you going to be here two hours later? And the Village Women's Institute provided the refreshments. It was much bigger than we'd anticipated. We catered for the entire film, and one lady baked us a thousand fairy cakes to start us off. And tonight, 500 of these villagers will swap the village green for Leicester Square as they attend the premiere of Tortoise in Love.